you are probably here because you have iPhone 4s and it works too slow and Apple did last update 9.5 point nay 9.3.5 and that was the last update for the iPhone 4s and it's too slow as you can see here I'm trying to reboot the iPhone and it takes damn long so I was thinking maybe I can downgrade it to iOS 6 you can do this an official way and now Apple signing so you can do this official way it's easier and you can do this as well with the iPad 2 only in the first generations not the last generations it's an easy process you can do this on PC and on Mac only things you are needed are cable and the software I will put the link down below in description where to download the software and uh, I will show in this video everything how you can do it I will not do the fast forward skipping so we can see how the process is going so <clears throat> afterwards you are maybe thinking now it's nothing happening and you will plug off and you mess the iPhone so I will show in this video everything how it goes so just sit back and watch and when it's done you can do the same so you will be good and you have problems I think maybe you have really a jailbreak and you don't remove on the right way so that's maybe cause the problems otherwise you should be good and also it's nice to see iOS 6 in 2018 <clears throat> it's a long time ago that I used iOS 6 so I'm really interested how it works and if it's hold up in 2018 and I think it's definitely usable so before beginning this process don't forget to back up your phone because otherwise your photos documents and important stuff everything will be gone so just do it and then you can download the phone and yeah guys if you have questions let me know down below in the comment section I will try to answer all your questions and with that being said it will be nice if you can get 200 likes on this video so yeah with that being said let's begin with the downgrading and for this one I will use the dock because it's easier and you will not touch or make disconnect your iPhone so it cause problem so yeah let's begin and to download the software you must go to the ips.com and then just go on the section iPhone and then you will find the iPhone 4s right there and as you can see Apple signing the software is 6.1.3 the last update for the iOS 6 so just download I already did I don't go and download again it's right there on my desktop and now I will restore the iPhone before the pressing the restore button you must hold the alt button that's on the left from the option key and on the PC just shift then it will appear this and you can choose here the software then just select the software and press on open or go and then you can restore and yeah now press the restore and the process will begin so yeah sit back and enjoy and see how it goes and guys this is now the Apple signing so it will be no problem to downgrade to iOS 6 but maybe in the future Apple will close this and you will not be able to do this so if you have problems just go to the website and see if it's still signed or not otherwise you will try try and for nothing so yeah, just sit back and watch and I will be back.
we are almost done as you can see on the iPhone the iOS Apple logo it's different than the iOS 9 logo so we know now we are good and now I think it's rebooting the phone so the software is on the iPhone so we can use it as now I can see yeah yeah oh yeah we need the sim card because I don't have the sim inside otherwise you can't unlock the iPhone now I will take the sim and I will unlock and set the iPhone so we can use and see and on this screen you can also do the backup from previous backups of your phone so you can use everything you have but not all the apps and stuff will work because if you have iPhones 6, 7 or 8 uh, the apps is updated so they are not longer working on the iOS 6 so you must downgrade the apps also but with that being said let's see if it's much faster or not and if it works properly so yeah I think as you can see it's much faster opens the apps immediately and response time is much faster as you can see and yeah iOS 6.1.3 there we have it it's official it's legit guys I would say do it now otherwise tomorrow maybe Apple will close and you are late and you can't download anymore so yeah it's your chance now and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video